Hey friend, welcome back to the Sage Audio channel. Today we'll be discussing the top 10 free EQ plugins currently available, as well as taking a listen to how they affect an instrumental mix. Now, keep in mind that we're not including dynamic equalizers or EQs that include compression in this list, since that's kind of a different topic, but stick around for the full video. But first, if this is a topic you find interesting, I'd highly recommend looking into the blog post that's associated with this video. In it, you'll find a lot more information on this topic, so simply scroll down to the description box below for a link. Also, if you're an artist, engineer, or producer, and you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master that mix for you and send you a free mastered sample of it. All you have to do is set up this short account, upload the song, and we will do the rest. So number 10 is the EQ1A from Mellow Muse. With a low CPU intensive design and an easily accessible interface, the EQ1A keeps equalization pretty simple. It offers four bands of sweepable equalization as well as a high pass filter, and each band can uh, quickly be bypassed as can the high pass filter for a quick AB comparison. Now although the EQ1A is modeled after classic analog outboard equalizers, the effect the EQ1A has on your signal is pretty minimalistic in terms of harmonic generation or distortion. Take a listen. Up next at number 9 is the Tiny Q from LKJP. Now the simplistic yet kind of stylized design of the Tiny Q equalizer makes it an accessible and easy to use plugin. This variably sized design makes it a great way to work on multiple forms of processing at once while still keeping each form of processing visible. Now visually speaking, the Tiny Q can be set to a tiny, large, or huge window size just by clicking this button here. And sonically speaking, the Tiny Q offers non-destructive equalization that cleanly amplifies and attenuates frequency bands. So with a total of four bands, each band can range from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and can be amplified up to 24 dB. A high pass and low pass filter are included as well. The high pass and low pass filters implement a smoothly parabolic Butterworth curve with orders of attenuation ranging from 6 dB to 48 dB per octave. Take a listen. At number 8 is the PTEQ1A by Ignite Labs. The PTEQ1A offers a similar design to the famous Pultec EQP1A with a boost and attenuation function for low frequencies and a boost and attenuation function for high frequencies. The simplistic design offers minimalistic options when it comes to setting your curve's Q. The PTEQ1A also offers a tube emulation function which introduces high order harmonic generation with modulation regarding the harmonics amplitude. This tube distortion can be bypassed as can any equalization implemented to your signal. Here is the PTEQ1A on the instrumental. And number 7 is PTEQX, also by Ignite Labs. Ignite Labs PTEQX is a culmination of three various Pultec emulations. On the top is an emulation of Pultec's mid-range equalizer, the MEQ5. In the middle is an emulation of the Pultec EQP1A, and lastly at the bottom is a high-pass and low-pass filter that doesn't seem to be modeled directly off any particular Pultec equalizer, but it does mimic the style of their design. 
The PTEQX offers two times over sampling, which comes in handy when working with higher frequencies in a lower sampling rate such as 44.1 kHz. Take a listen. Number six is Q Range by LKJB. Now, if you need more than just three or four bands of equalization, then the Q Range is a great option. With up to 12 bands, with Qs ranging from 0.3 to 16, this Q Range offers immense flexibility and the ability for surgical equalization. Now, furthermore, each band can be separated into stereo, mid, side, left, and right channels. This makes it a great option for any stereo mastering session in which you want to affect the stereo imaging and the frequency response simultaneously. And just as importantly, you can adjust the linear phase using five various settings, making it suitable for any mastering situation in which clean processing is paramount. Take a listen. At number five is the LCF by Analog Obsession. Now, unlike the other candidates on this list, the LCF didn't make it on here by its complexity or the flexibility it offers in truth. The LCF really only does two things. It acts as a low-pass filter and a high-pass filter, but it introduces intricate harmonic generation in the mid-range and high-range frequencies. These harmonics are complex and modulate in amplitude, resulting in a really intricate sound. Take a listen. Number four is Rare by Analog Obsession. Like the PTEQ1A mentioned previously, the Rare models itself off of the famous Pultec EQP1A. Unlike the PTEQ1A, it offers a better, more accurate design and more complex harmonic generation. In fact, the Rare arguably rivals the Waves emulation of the EQP1A. Granted, the Waves plugin does offer more complex harmonic generation and a VU meter, but the rare is a somewhat close second. Number three is Sunny Q by Sonimus. The Sunny Q is a three band equalizer that includes a low pass as well as a high pass filter. The interface is simplistic and is good for creating natural sounding broadband equalization curves. Now design wise, Sonimus made some interesting, albeit kind of unnecessary choices. The primary offense is a VU meter that is used to measure the drive function. Essentially, this VU meter doesn't truly serve a purpose as it simply indicates that more harmonics are being added which is something any user would understand by simply increasing the drive function. Additionally, a wow function has been added, which supposedly alters the phase relationships to introduce a psychoacoustic effect. However, it appears that this function is simply a phase inverter. Despite these small qualms with the plugin, it does offer something truly important that many other free plugins do not, which is an output clip indicator. Take a listen.
Number two is Overtone GEQ by Voxingo. Voxingo is no stranger to producing exceptional and unique plugins. In fact, it's possible that the only reason this plugin was released for free was to see to what extent something this unique would have any market appeal. If you spend five minutes with this plugin, you'll understand how much Voxingo values flexibility and customization. I mean, with this, you can even change the color of your interface to four different options. The Overtone GEQ introduces harmonic generation relative to each of the seven bands it allows you to control. These bands can process the signal as a stereo, a 5.1 surround, a mid-side stereo, and many other various options. Take a listen. At number one is Marvel GEQ by Voxingo. Similar to the Overtone GEQ, the Marvel GEQ offers immense routing options and plugin customization. It also offers linear phase equalization and supports up to eight inputs. The 16 band EQ is truly versatile and can be as simple or as complex as you want. Although it doesn't have harmonic generation or drive like the previous Voxingo plugin mentioned, it does offer the ability to equalize an entire mix with one plugin. Again, the routing options are incredibly complex and can adequately handle most audio applications from broadcasting and streaming to mixing and mastering. Take a listen. So there you have it, our list of the top 10 free EQ plugins. But what do you think? Do you agree with our list or was there a free EQ that you use and love that we didn't mention? If so, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, again, definitely check out the blog post where you can find even more information on these plugins and a bonus plugin not mentioned in this video. Follow the link in the description to find that. Also, if you're an artist or an engineer, send us one of your mixes at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. All you have to do is set up this account, upload the song, and we will do the rest. But thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and share this video with your friends. Also, you can subscribe to the channel. That way you stay up to date on all of our latest releases. There's a comment section where you can leave your thoughts on this video or a suggestion for a future video. And again, if you're an artist or an engineer and you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.